The purpose of this presentation is to show how we create the roof displayed. The information for this roof came from field measurements and in the process of uh, measuring the roof the guy who did the measurements failed to pick up all the details and so we have to use all the functions of the software to create the, the, the shape as we need it and um, using the, the functions of the software to check that it is correct. So the first thing we do is uh, generate the uh, roof outline uh, from the dimensions provided. So we'll go up 34 foot 8 and right 50 foot 4 and down 19 foot 2 and left 14 foot 9 and because the measurements weren't provided we're going to uh, close square and let the software figure out the last two dimensions. Um, the, a handy feature of the software and one you will use often uh, when you're uh, digitizing from field measurements. Um, if we're happy with the outline and it verifies uh, with the information provided we select finish. Um, the the um, guy who did the measurements has indicated that the roof slope is 312 and uh, the eave height is 10. We hit OK and continue and the roof is built. And at this time we realise, oh whoops, we're supposed to have gable ends each end. Well don't panic, we simply use the modify roof function to uh, get the ridge line and extend it to the eave and the uh, gable ends are created. So we just uh, pan up the screen a, a, a short amount here. Um, What we need to do is add uh, a porch to add the feature at the bottom of the roof. So along that line we'll uh, add a porch on this side and uh, in fact from the previous uh, example, this is uh, 6 foot 3, um, the height of the wall has been automatically picked up from the, uh, the line that we selected to hang it from. So 10 foot is where we want it and uh, the roof slope is indicated on the drawing is a 212. We preview that and uh, we see that it's what we want and we hit OK. The next feature we need to add is a, a dormer and using the measurements provided, measuring from the left hand end, uh, the distance along the eave is uh, 20, yes, 26 feet. Uh, the width of the dormer is 19, all the other measurements are zero and, and we preview the insertion of that. Now you can see that it's uh, exactly where we want it, almost. So we hit insert and the software does its best to create the correct geometry but as you can see it's gone across multiple pictures and hasn't been able to figure out the rest. So what we do then is use the functions under our modify roof command and the first one is to uh, insert a point at a line and plane intersection. We select the plane and we select that ridge line and a point is automatically inserted. You'll see a little dot appear there. Now that becomes a construction point for our stretch function where we select the uh, the apex of those valleys and the ridge and middle button snapping that, middle button snapping back to there and the, uh, the lines are stretched back. Um, these planes will be reinserted so we can delete those, uh, we can also delete that, perhaps if we draw a box around the whole end there uh, we'll delete all those, they will all be reinserted. So now we um, go back to our uh, functions to modify this to create the roof shape we want and we use our smart lines functions for this. Uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, tidy up the lines we've already got so we'll, we'll, we'll trim that line back to that valley, uh, left click on the valley and now we'll copy some existing lines so we'll copy uh, this eave line and snap that into there, uh, we'll copy that um, uh, that ridge line and snap it into there and we'll copy this rake line and snap it into there. We then use our trim to a corner function to trim those lines back to corners and we'll trim that one back to there and now we we'll use our insert plane function to reinsert the roof plane and we'll just insert a plane around there, yes, no, yes, no, yes and OK. And there you have it. So now we use all the functions of our uh, tools check to verify the measurements on this roof and uh, compare those to the information provided on our drawing to ensure that it is correct. And there we have it. Practice that and there won't be a job you can't master.